What is going on guys, Predator 4th of and welcome back to my channel and welcome to some more Fractured Space. I've had a few requests to see some more gameplay from this awesome little game, so your wish is my command. Today we are in the Revenant Reaper, I believe it's called. And once again, this was a match from I think the same night that I played that uh, gameplay of the last video. Uh, so I wasn't recording and it turned out to be a good game, so I shadow played it and of course that means I missed the first 5 minutes. Uh, but as you saw, as we jumped into this game, we already got our first kill. Our team has done fantastically well in the beta uh, line. So we're now going to jump over into Gamma because it is about to come uh, or become available and we're going to try and capture it for our team. Now, this particular ship is a premium ship. I'm not entirely sure why I have it. It might be because of the sort of founders pack or uh, whatever they called it at that, that I have had for quite some time. Uh, enemy ship has just jumped in. And I'm looking around like an idiot <laughs> onto the wrong side of uh, my vessel. So we've secured Gamma, so now we're going to put some fire into Plum. Now, this particular ship, its special ability on right mouse button is the Scythe Beam, which basically uh, neutralizes any uh, armor, enemy armor, where you hit the enemy vessel. Aside from that, another special ability is the number one key which you will see me use at some point. This is, uh, they refer to it as Shroud, and basically it puts a shield, uh, extra shielding around the flanks of your uh, ship, so that if the enemy is firing into your side, you know, you'll take less damage. Then two, we've got missiles, three fighters, four pe uh, point defense, five and six are your jump drive, fairly standard stuff. So, and then your main weapons are the Reaper cannons, which is a few of them, and you just normal cannons. They do fairly serious damage, especially in combination with the scythe beam when you take out the enemy's armor, which is always good. So we have defeated the enemy push in Alpha 2. We're staying within the uh, sphere of the mini base so that we can just uh, heal up. And I have to say, this is quite a good looking little ship by a Titan. There we go, you can see on the, uh, on the side it says Titan. So this is the Titan Revelant Reaper. Yeah, I've got the green accents, you know, it's very pimped out, looks quite good, and I must say, I had so much fun playing the ship, I actually desperately need to go back and play it again. And hell, maybe even that time I will purposely record the match and show you the whole thing, not just uh, <laughs> 15 minutes. But we're moving into this middle resource point, we're going to capture that, an enemy sentinel at uh, the far left resource point, and he's trying to capture that. We're going to move straight in. We've got a teammate who I think is going to stay behind and capture the middle point. So we're going to move in onto this guy. And that's the scythe beam. Unfortunately, we don't actually connect with it that time. So we don't actually uh, take down his armor. But you can see this thing is quite fast. It's quite maneuverable. Um, the sentinel as well. Very fast maneuverable ship. But we've managed to close right in. And here's the shroud ability, as you can see. So any fire coming in from the flanks of our vessel will do reduced damage. He uses his booster, but he is not fast enough to get away from our rockets, and we managed to get another kill as we launch the scythe beam, which is a bit of a waste. I think that's our second of the match already, but don't worry, there's going to be quite a lot more. I landed up doing quite well in this ship. So we've now moved into the Alpha 1 mini base of the enemy team. We're just capturing this, and then we can jump into the enemy's base if we want. Uh, Brawler jumps in, so we fire off our missiles. We're just going to sort of stay here and heal up. And uh, we're now going to move over this uh, shielded area or shielding or whatever it is and start to engage him properly. You can see the scythe beam and there we go, we uh, use it and we take out his top and his rear armor. So now we can put some serious fire into him. And unfortunately I think someone else got the kill. Yeah, Fox destroyed him. But we can jump into the enemy base so we're going to do that. Unfortunately Sentinel jumps in as we've started spooling up and I don't think you can cancel uh, a jump. So we're in the enemy base and we're going to start taking fire. There is one enemy ship defending. And this was perhaps like too aggressive, this move. You should never really do it by yourself. But, you know, whatever's fun, right? So we scythe him. It does do some damage, the scythe beam, I should point out. It does do some damage on its own. But its primary function is to destroy the armor in that uh, section. And we destroyed his top armor. So now we're getting absolutely hammered. As I said, this was... Uh, not necessarily the smartest idea to go and do that. Uh, and we get killed just as we 
um, are have an upgrade available so we'll be able to choose that up and spawn in with it we're going to go with attack so let me skip forward 35 seconds and join you as we are about to respawn right let's quickly go over the tactical situation as you can see in the alpha lane we have two resource points enemy has one and the reverse is true in the beta lane so right now we are equal on resources but overall we've collected 13 and a half thousand the enemy is just approaching 12 so we do have uh, the advantage we're going to jump into beta 2 and try and help out uh, because there are two enemy ships there and only one allied ship so we jump in yeah we've got uh, a venturer gonna put in some missiles and we're starting to engage with our guns we pop the shroud just because there is another ship on our flank point defense is activated we use our scythe and we're just cutting through this guy's health he is on relatively low health it looks like he was healed there by something not entirely sure uh, but there we go, we managed to get that kill, so that's our third of the match, I think. He has Plum in the center, and you can see this pretty cool effect um, if you're too close to an enemy vessel where it explodes, and <laughs> we managed to get Plum as well. Um, you do get kind of pushed away, and you will take a little bit of damage, I believe. So, right now, the Alpha Lane is completely open. Gamma will be available in 20 seconds or so, but we're going to move in in the Beta Lane. We've got the Sentinel of Mega Derpets who's using his boost at the moment uh, to try and get within range. We scythe him, you see we do some damage um, and we do like, damage his armor. So we've got missiles going in, those have done decently well. And now we're just going to start pouring in fire with our guns. No need to use shroud because it obviously doesn't really protect the front of our vessel, only the flanks. I think we might pop it now, there we go, so that we take less damage as we try and turn around. Another missile salvo going in and are we going to get this kill? I don't think I was leading quite enough there, so a lot of my shots missed, but unfortunately, because of that, we don't get the kill. Fox manages to get it. So, we're now going to move in to this uh, last remaining resource point that the enemy has, and Plum has disconnected. I'm not sure if he got angry, and that was a... I didn't actually say it was some form of drone, uh, but you can destroy them, so if you see them, be sure to take them out, because they will continue to buff the enemy vessels that uh, go to within the influence zone. But I really, I cannot say this enough, I really did like the ship. It felt really nice and sort of maneuverable and agile. And the weapon system was really quite good. And as I said, not to mention how uh, pimped it looks with its uh, green accents. So, fire going in, we scythe beam him, do decent damage with that. This is the Pioneer, so it's got that uh, gravity nuke. He's trying to jump away now, which is a, a terrible, terrible decision, because you take... A massive increase in damage if you try and jump. So we pop our shroud again as we turn to try and get the front of our vessel facing the sentinel so we can use the scythe beam. You can see it doesn't really have a very big uh, area that it can... Uh, they pretty much got to be in front of you and you do good damage, take out a lot of his armor, get another kill with our missiles. Uh, but unfortunately this brawler has jumped in right on top of us and brawlers, as the name suggests, are very good in close range. So. He makes very short work of us, but I mean that was a good little stint. We got uh, several kills and we managed to push all the way up to their beta 1 capture point. So, 45 seconds to go, let's jump forward to the next spawn. Alright, as you can see there's a massive fight going on in beta 1. Three enemies, two friendlies, um, and we're going to get to jump in right now. As soon as the lag lets it uh, actually pull up the jump screen, if you will. Um, again, this was back on that free weekend for Steam, so there were tons of people and I think the servers were struggling quite a lot, not to mention uh, the fact that my internet is never the best. I think this might this match might have also been on an American server. Uh, the ping seems fairly stable at 320, so I'm fairly certain this was a North American server. But anyways, you can see one enemy ship is in Alpha and moving through the zones and capturing all the resource points for his team. But because we held so many for so long, I mean, we've collected nearly 24,000. They're still at 17. We managed to capture Beta 1 so we can jump into the enemy base. And uh, I thought I was going to do it there, but I guess not. I think what I did was I stopped to wait, because if you look in chat, you can see what your teammates are doing and where they are jumping to. And I was waiting to see if more teammates were going to jump in because I didn't want to YOLO at this time. And also there's an upgrade available, um, just one of the ones that will like boost our health and that sort of thing. So I'm going to move into beta 1 
uh, mini base and just let that upgrade apply itself before making the jump into the enemy base. So there we go, it's now done. We can jump through. Probably, now uh, we did actually stay in there long enough to get uh, all the health that that upgrade was going to give us. So, two enemy ships uh, defending their base. You can see one enemy vessel has is busy capturing Alpha 2. So, I think we scythed, what's that, say it? Uh, rockets going in and we're firing at him with our guns. I think the rockets just didn't work. We've popped our shroud in case someone tries to shoot us from the side, including the, the base's defense turrets. And we're pouring fire into him. We managed to get the kill and waste our uh, missile salvo. There was no need to fire it there. Scythe this guy, take out his front armor, and uh, we're just going to keep putting fire into him. Have popped our point defense to try and mitigate some of those incoming missiles. And uh, we're putting in another salvo. His left arm is down. Put up our shroud once again. And we get him and we get the kill. So there's still this guy, but unfortunately we're losing health. But we are going to move to within the capture sphere. So we will at least do some capture points before we go down any second now. Scythe him again, just continuing to put in fire. That was a relatively short life. Uh, but as you can see, we've captured the enemy base up to 71%. We got another few kills. So I'd say it was rather worth it. Now, another 45 seconds or so to go, so again, we will skip forward. Alright, so, with a few seconds left before we can jump in. As you can see, Gamma is available to enemies there, four friendlies. There were a few uh, enemies in the Alpha lane, but our ally that was there jumped into Gamma. So we're now going to jump into Gamma and try and support them. And you can see those two enemies are fast approaching Alpha 2, capturing the resource points, and they will soon capture Alpha 2 itself. I'm going to start putting fire into this uh, enemy ship. He's trying to jump again, and we get there just in time and manage to finish him off. Now, if memory serves, we are pretty much going to capture Gamma now, as you can see, and then we are going to go and end this match because. If you remember correctly, because we own Beta 1, I can jump straight from Gamma into the enemy uh, base. And that's exactly what I do. I jump straight in. None of my teammates follow. They all go back to Alpha 2 to help defend. But, I mean, the enemy base is on 71% capture. We're putting some fire into this turret generator. I imagine it's going to uh, lessen the effect of the base defenses. Um but we've got Killbot in his Pioneer who has spawned in but we've moved into the capture zone 95% there's just nothing they can do uh, we scythed him, took down his uh, armor and we're putting fire in and that's it, game over we just jumped in, sneaky jump and we won the match If so, if you enjoyed this video please feel free to give it a thumbs up button down below and consider subscribing for more Fractured Space, World of Warships and Armored Warfare but that is it from me for this video, thank you very much for stopping by this is Predator458 signing off, and I will see you guys next time.